Hello friends, welcome back to the Color of Madness. We're steamrolling a little bit in terms of money. We've got nearly 18,000 gold. Ah, oh, these guys are a little bit stressed there. We need to put them in some stress relief. Uh, probably Nufmarsh. Yeah, I don't really want to use the tavern any more than is necessary. And I think we've got enough people. We can just kind of let that stress start to fade off naturally, which is quite nice. Uh, I like the fact that the icons now change color to let you know, or you know, change color, let you know whether a dude is level one or two. That is actually quite nice, because there is a sizable difference between those two. Let's see who we've got today. We've got a Jester, a Hellion, an Arbalist, and a Shield Breaker. Mm -mm -mm. I think we're fine. I don't think we need to particularly worry too much about any of these. We already have all of these classes, I believe. Um, yeah, we have a Musketeer. Uh, yeah, so that seems pretty good. We did get a Blueprint, by the way. And I think what we want to look for is the bank first of all and then maybe the mill uh but i'll need to be doing the endless harvest quest for that so i think we want to look at the bank first so we want 50 portraits 31 portraits plus a little bit of spending money that's okay that's doable within the next in the next uh, next maybe half dozen weeks or so we'll have to see about that wounding helmet hmm, 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 hmm. cripples his move and stun chance significantly increases most of his damage Pretty good, the Bounty Hunter not one of my favorite classes, but we can make that happen at some point soon. I think I, I think I want to I want to do one of these though. I want to encounter the thing from the stars and figure out what that's all about. Uh, three deeds and a stalwart buckle? Oh, the extra crit looks nice. What about you, uh, Punishment's Hood? This is now slightly different. Now buffs him if his HP is low. I didn't think it used to, but I could be wrong. Bleed Amulet, eh, it's fine. I think we probably want to go for the stalwart buckle though it seems pretty nice and who do we want to take with us well for the wield i actually like an arbalist in the wield i don't know why it's just a, a connection that i made a long time ago uh whether it's actually based on anything of course is fundamentally irrelevant at this point diton is a flagellant the reign of sorrows of punish Exsanguinate, yes. Exsanguinate and Redeem seems maybe a little excessive, but I think it's fine. Yeah, that seems fine. And maybe we want to take a Leper. Hmm. Do we have a better Leper? I think we do. Ah, uh, yeah, but his stress is super high. But we'll, we'll leave a Leper for now. Um, We don't have... We do have a Hilo. We have Thrulled. I'm happy to put you in rank 3. That seems completely fine. We have an Arbalist as well. Obviously a good off healer Baznage. Yeah, I think we're gonna I think we're gonna take this. Um we get we're gonna keep this. I think that's fine. And I wanna kinda wanna save money at this point. This also seems fine. Duelist Advance. Maybe I wanna take Duelist Advance and point blank shot and then put him in rank one. It seems okay, right? Seems fine. Seems okay. Vestal, yep, you have some of the correct skills at least battlefield bandage bowler sniper shot snipers market yeah that that seems correct uh, i'm not a huge fan of blind fire in general suppressing fire now only hits the very back line and rallying flare is okay as a utility skill might be useful i suppose doesn't do any damage but it does de-stealth everything clears stuns and marks and maybe a small stress relief this looks like this is very weird kind of not very granular tuning uh, i'm not a huge fan of that as a skill that's just like everything they want the arbalist to do just kind of watered down massively and thrown into one skill um we're gonna go with one three four and five for now oh, one three four and six sorry for now and let's see what we got going on in guild yeah so you've got one two three four i'm gonna upgrade all of these you see this is cheap enough for me i'm gonna upgrade i'm not gonna upgrade mace bash because that's just scraping the bottom of the barrel um, can we look at armor? Deeds and crests, yeah, that's fine. We're, we're going to upgrade some armor. And I'm not too worried about upgrading her weapon because it doesn't increase her speed. It, it gives her a little bit extra crit. I'm not too worried about that. Makes judgment slightly better. Mm -hmm. I don't think it's worth it. I just don't think it's worth it at the moment with our slight financial issues. We do want the Book of Intuition and the Survival Guide. We want to ch chuck those on the same person who has no speed. Arbalist has low speed. Uh, three, though, is still not bad. Um, class trinkets? We don't have any class trinkets for these dudes. We'll take the Book of Intuition. Yeah, we'll, we'll take the Book of Intuition 
and the survival guide, and we'll put them on the arbor list. I am a big fan of these utility things. Um, surprise and scouting. Trap disarm is also fine. Uh, what, well, what is her trap disarm? 30. 20, 10, 50. Okay, so we will actually throw the survival guide on a high woman. We'll play it a little bit smart. Uh, the ancestor's tentacle idol. We can throw that on anyone except the flagellant, so I may as well just put it on the vestal. Uh, I don't want an unreliable healer. Blight resist. We're going to the wheel, right? Yeah, we're going to the wheel, so blight resist is fine. Minus two dodge is essentially completely irrelevant. But you know what? I will put it on the arbalist. Because it does get around that downside. The bloodied fetish also seems fine. I'm not a huge, huge, no, not hugely concerned, should I say, about disease in the wield. I think we're going to be okay here. Let's have a look. I think I want eight food. Seems safe. Three shovels in the wheel, two anti venom, one bandage, one herb, one key, one holy water. Torches. I don't think so. I think we're going to be fine. I'm, I'm, I'd much rather have the loot. It may be a greedy play. But if so, that fits a greedy boy very well. Very well. Come on. Need that SSD in my life, man. Need that SSD. Load! Load! I can't fill dead air today. There we go. All right. I knew all these paths once. Now they are as twisted as my own ambitions. So hopefully we get some scouting off the bat. Maybe some torches would have been nice just for the scouting, because I, I really want to get a head start on finding those trinkets. Awarded to the brave and the foolhardy alike. Now, I don't know if scouting has been... I mean, scouting has been nerfed just, you know, across the board pretty much. But that's in terms of scouting chats. I don't know if um, if uh, your secret rooms have been nerfed at the same time. 100% trap disarm. Oh, feels good. Feels good. Herbs for me? That wasn't a word. I said it. I was confident saying it. It wasn't a word. Herbs for me? Say anything with confidence, people will hear what they want to hear. Okay, so point blank shot's going to be fine here, but I, I would rather hit the back line. We don't really have a choice. Does point blank shot have better crit chance? Yeah, plus 6% is okay. So this isn't going to kill it unless we get a very lucky crit. It's only a 4% crit chance. That's just not going to happen, essentially. But we should be able to go for... I mean, Judgment is probably going to kill rank 2. Um, oh, actually, maybe not because of the prot. Yeah. What we'll sniper shot? Yeah, okay, so rank two is dead at least. I'm okay with just killing the front two. I'd rather kill the back two, but it's better to kill, you know, either the front two or the back two rather than mix and match, I think. Sedated. And I'm okay with the flagellant being marked. That is not an issue. Anyone else being marked? Yeah, that could be a bit of a problem, but for the flagellant, he can take it, man. He can loves it. He death. loves it. Unforeseen. Unforgiving. Oh. I will confess, I'm feeling a little bit sluggish and lethargic today, just in general. Um, mostly because of the weather. I'm just not used to it being so hot, man. It's, it's any of you guys in the United Kingdom right now? I'm on the east coast of the UK, and it is absolutely boiling. I don't want, I don't want to put an actual temperature to it because whenever you say something like, it's like this, people in other countries in like you know Central America or like you know. North Africa and be like, oh, you think that's hot? It gets at least three degrees hotter than that in your four days of the year where I live. Yeah, okay, it's all relative, man. It's all relative. We're all products of our environment. We're all products of the places and the people around us. And maybe if I had, you know, 20 years of my life to get used to living in Central America, then I could deal with 23 degrees Celsius, but I didn't. I live in the United Kingdom and I always have. So you've got to, got to have some understanding there, I think. I mean, you don't have to, but I'd like you to. That may have been a misplay. I would have maybe liked to keep him below 40%. Maybe? I actually meant to give him Duelist Advance as well instead of probably Grape Shot Blast. We can do that after this fight. That's absolutely fine. If I'm going to heal him a little bit, I may as well heal him all the way. That seems fine to me. Judgment may have been correct. I'm not too worried. A little bit of Blight. A little bit of Blight coming in very predictably. I think that's okay. In fact, it didn't come in. So I didn't predict it. Egg on my face. Right, so I, I do want to change his skills around, give him Duelist Advance. Uh, so we can do the point blank shot. 
shuffle. Classic PBSS. Well, no scouting, no torches. Oh, you're you're new. I like that. I actually can't do anything with <laughs> with this except punish, but that's fine because punish is what I want to do anyway. Did resist the bleed. Kind of wish I had grape shot blast. Now a bowler should do just as well. Yeah, that was pretty nice. And we want a judgment. Yeah, should kill it. Sweet. That is a, a new design for the ectoplasms that I'm a big fan of. That seemed really cool, and I liked it a lot. Be wary. Triumphant pride precipitates a dizzying fall. That's absolutely correct. Uh, okay, still no scouting. If we found a torch, I probably would crank them before we get into the next room. Nature herself. But it's relatively unlikely. You find them a lot in the ruins, I think, because there's a lot of sconces around. It's just part of their natural scenery. You tend to encounter those more often in the ruins, I believe, although it may just be confirmation bias. Because I've always believed that you find more torches in the ruins, but I don't actually know whether it's true, so take that with a pinch of salt. These guys aren't too bad. That is horrendous. That is one of the worst shuffles I've ever seen. Could actually be a long fight here, since we don't have blind fire. So I'm going to need to spend a turn, maybe even two turns, just moving around. Okay, we can move him forward three, which is fine. Our, our highwayman can just hit shit. That's actually fine. This is actually okay now. Everyone can do something useful from where they are, even if it's only divine comfort. I guess we may bash though. Want a mace bash? Yeah. Mm, still, you know, still a fine choice, I think. And I do want a duelist advance, yeah. All right, that, that's actually completely fine. That was a nice shuffle recovery. At least in my opinion. It seemed to go pretty well. But I think we will punish, because we don't really have a different attack we want to use. Yeah, that's fine. They don't need corpses either, which is quite nice. It's a nasty crit. Monsters don't get crit buffs, which is probably just as well. And I will judgment. That's okay. We can bowl up and then hit rank two. In whichever order. The second crit is pretty bad. She's got rabies. That's not great for a healer, right? But it's lower accuracy and increased damage, yeah. Well, I mean, a lot of the time I just want a judgment. So I can see why that would be potentially annoying. Because the damage isn't as important as the self healing. In my personal experience, when I use judgment, it's usually because I want to heal as well as dealing a little bit of damage. Otherwise, Divine Comfort is often a better choice if my Vestal is not in need of healing. Uh, we'll Duelist Advance just prevent us from having to, to click the button next turn because we are nothing if not a lazy channel. We all know this to be true. We hold these truths to be self-evident. And everyone's back in the right order. Oh, that feels pretty nice. He's bounced back. Well, we're potentially nearly done here. We could only have one more fight left. Oh, no, it's, it's Explore 90%, so we've got two rooms to go. I had it in my head for some reason that it was, um, that it was, a uh, all room battles. I'm sorry. Thank you. Okay, well, that's potentially lovely. Okay, so it's two more fights. And we know we're not finding a secret room, unfortunately. Unless we get, like, a lucky critical scout here and we scout up here somewhere that we had not previously found. Yeah, I mean, I'm not really liking the point-blank shot play here. That's 15, by the way, 15. I think it's okay, but I think I would rather hit the back line. I don't really have that luxury with the highwayman, because uh, point-blank shot is just so lucrative here. Yeah, I, I guess we have to, right? Oh, that's lovely. And he gets a significant speed bonus in the next round. And it actually punched him backwards. That was pretty nice. I think we want to kill it, though, if we can. Touch and go, touch and go. Gonna bleed her a little bit. That's okay. There'll be no blood left for the leeches. Oh. All right, that's fine. Yeah, nine. Nine is fine. That's what they say. 
Don't have grape shot, of course. Well, what else am I going to do, right? I think I just duelist advance, get that riposte on. Oh, nice. His crit is through the roof, by the way. That's lovely. Oh, what's the quirk? Clutch hitter? Yeah. That's right. That one of those quirks you should never actually see in action. Uh, you know what? I'm actually going to kill... Or I'm going to hit this. No, I'm, I'm going to heal this mass. Because my flagellant may hit death's door at some point. Oh, that's actually fine. Yeah, we're just going to do that. I forgot we had Redeem. We normally take Suffer instead, but Redeem is lovely. He's bleeding three for four, so he's... Sure. <laughs> sort of irrelevant at this point. Seems to be going pretty well. Um, yeah, we'll whack those heals on. I don't mind taking this a little bit slowly. I don't want to get accused of stalling. That's just not the kind of guy I am. But, oh, wow. Oh, a crit on the riposte does that as well. And those speed buffs stack in terms of intensity, not duration, which is actually quite nice. Um, yeah, I may get accused of stalling here. I don't know if it counts as... No, it's okay. I, I feel like stalling might only matter... Uh, or Stalling skills might only be non-healing skills. I think healing is generally considered legit by the game, whereas, like, you know, stun locking is not. Which I think is the right way around, honestly. But we don't have any more herbs. I definitely don't want to get some kind of horrible disease. So we're going to leave it. This is the last fight. Seems to be going okay. I want a Reign of Sorrows. I do want to kill the back line, but I'm going to have to PBS the front line. So yeah, this is not a setup that's really... Um, oh, lovely. Not a setup that's really conducive to getting the most out of PBS, I think. Bola, oh yeah, Bola's damage is just not very good at all. And I'm low rolling everything. Well, we're going to Judgment, I think. We really want to kill this. And if we hit it, we do. We've got a 73% chance to kill it. Okay. The will to fight so our Flagellant is going to be a, a very useful healer here. We have three competent healers. We have a main healer in the Vestal, obviously, and then we have an off healer in the Arbalist and a utility healer in the Flagellant, uh, who is clearly going to use Redeem here. From becoming unwound. Lovely, lovely. He has significantly debuffed himself, but that's really not a huge problem. I think we're going to be okay. And, well, rank 3 is dead. Rank 4 is at 1 HP. And they are doing a lot of damage to us, mostly because we're torchless. This is fine. Because it's only a short mission. But I am starting to wonder if maybe I'm spending more on, uh, on recovering stress than I'm getting from the extra torchless uh, bonuses. I think that may well be the case. Yeah, we'll do this advance. Get a riposte on. Not that it really matters. Mm, well, he's not bleeding, which is nice. <laughs> it's always a nice, uh, nice thing to see. Well, I'm just going to punish because this is it, right? So it's it's fine. Rank two is dead. Long live rank two. And this is the final room. Cool. Well, we we scouted this. There's treasure, but I have to do two fights to get to it, so I'm not going to do that, I'm afraid. Every cleared path and charted route Three deeds. The of our 10k? That's not bad, actually. We did okay for ourselves there. I didn't really pay attention to how much loot we were getting, but we got, got a decent amount of gold, and we saved quite a lot of food because we managed to find loads of it. And that all adds up. Paranormal Mania kind of sucks. Deadly is really nice. Wheel Scrander is fine. So let's see what we want to do next. I think this is going to be a slightly shorter episode. Oh, wow. Insistent gnawing in the back of my mind. It was a yearning, a thirst for discovery that could be neither numbed nor sated. That's right. This veteran will fight for you in exchange for a fair sum of crystal shards. Oh, fuck you, buddy. Uh, oh, wow, okay. Ignore stealth, one hero per roster. Oh! Well, I mean, I can't hire her yet. 
But this is clearly like a, a very, very strong hero by design. It's not an experienced recruit. He doesn't have skills unlocked or upgraded gear or anything. But, oh wow. Oh wow. Wow. It's, she's really good. I can't take her, unfortunately. Um, but yeah, she's really good. And it's nice to know we may get offered stuff like this in the future. Yeah, I mean, we, don't, we just don't have it. Unfortunately, we just do not have it. Uh, but we, we will be able to take advantage of stuff like that. Uh, hopefully in the not too distant future. Druel? Yeah, sure. We'll, uh, we'll, we'll take our stress away one hero at a time. And yeah, like I said, it's going to be a slightly shorter episode today. I, as I said, I, I apologize if I've been a little bit more subdued this episode. I'm feeling a little bit under the weather anyway. And also under the weather because it's 23 degrees Celsius. So anyway, thank you guys for watching. I hope you enjoyed it and I'll see you next time.